So our final three races of the Punchestown Festival. The first up is going to be Mick the Novice Handicap Chase. It's over two miles and five furlongs. I think this is a 0 to 140. So dark alert for Greg Beckwith, capably dangerous for Martin Leadham. Nina de Muguro for Pedro Hogan. Stu Gray's Knight Jedi. Pizza Hut for Matt Cooper. The Chain for Pontypool Racing. Rabban Mad Chen for Pedro Hogan. Sherman Ryder for Stu Gray. And Forceful for Perform for Matt Cooper. Make up just nine for Mick the Novice. Handicap Chase here at Punchestown. God, it's not a Grade 1 event, so somebody else might win it. And we've got very reluctant horses here. And Pizza Hut is the most reluctant, although his stable mate forceful perform. He's trying to get from his wide position, join his stable mate and take it up. So they're going to come to the first of the 13. It's a big plain one. They all clear it. A little bit of a sticky jump at the rear by Sherman Ryder. So forceful perform and Pizza Hut. Is Pizza Hut. These two Matt Cooper horses take it up now. As so they come to the second, the first of the ditches, the leaders are over it. Oh, we've lost one. Capably dangerous has gone. Unlucky to Martin lead them there. The second might be winning Mick the Novice. I'm sure it's Mick the Tent, isn't it? Novice Handicap Chase. I'm sure they've got the, the name wrong here. But I'm pretty sure it's Mick the Tent, Novice Handicap Chase. But anyway, whoever would Mick the Tent was. Maybe it was some pikey that lived in a, I don't know, under a bridge in a tent. But anyway, or it might well have been a horse, obviously. But anyway, poor forceful perform. Leads him into the third. And get over it. Slow jumps to the rear by Sherman Ryder and Knight Jedi. The black silk green sash for Stu Gray. They're just behind the two Pedro Hogan horses of Rab and Mad Chen and Nina de Maguro. And in front of that is the chain. And then Craig Beckler's dark alert. And our two leaders. Forceful performance, Pete's out taking another hold as they go past the winning post. Another big full circuit here. Uh, nine fences to take. Uh, it's probably seven lengths from first to last. And we're down just the one as they go over the fourth. They all clear that slow jumps again at the rear. This time Sherman Ryder, Nina de Magura, Knight Jedi. We'll have a play at it. But it's forceful performance, Pete's out from Dark Alert, the chain, and a Rabban Mad Chen. Length back to Sherman Ryder. They go over the fifth. Oh, that was poor over that was Pizza Hut. Shuffles back to join the, the chasing four. All chasing forceful perform. As they come down to the next. Oh, what a bad mistake there by the chain. Really took a dive in it, got away with it. Shuffles back. Pat chasing forceful perform are pretty much all together. You can throw a blank over them as they get to this ditch. They all clear that again. The chain didn't go over it well. Usually two bad ones. You'll fall on the third. We'll wait to see. The forceful perform. Leads them on out towards the back straight now. By four to Dark Alert in second. Then Rab and Mad Chen and Pete's out making back ground up again. Night Jedi's moved up well as stablemate Sherman Ryder and then Nina de Bengura and the chain is the one we're going to watch going over this. Oh, stood off of it. Very slow. I think we can probably ride off the chain unless he improves his jumping. So with a mile left to go, it's a little bit of a change up front. Forceful perform still leads, but he's only got a length advantage now from Dark Alert, Pizza Hut, Knight Jedi on the wide outside, Sherman Ryder between horses taking a hold as they go over the ninth. We'll get over that well, including the chain at the rear. But it's forceful perform still from stable mate Pizza Hut and Dark Alert. Just on the outside is Sherman Ryder as they come to the tenth. That was slow over it. So it's Dark Alert that jumped best and jumps himself into the lead. Our top weight here. Dark Alert for Craig Beck. He's got a length advantage now from forceful perform. Our long time leader. And then Knight Jedi and Sherman Ryder, the grey Pizza Hut. They're looking for a little bit of racing run. And the two Pedro Hogan horses, Raven Mad Chen and Nina de Muguro. The one that really has got caught for pace is the chain. But up front, it's the Dark Alert leading him into the 11th. They all clear that well. Good jump there in second by Pizza Hut. So Dark Alert leads by a length to Pizza Hut and Forceful Perform. Knight Jedi, Rabban Mad Chen. Up on the inside is Sherman Ryder with no racing room. A little bit wider is Nina de Magura. The chain's still got a lot to do from there. As they go to the 12th, a slow jump by our leader has allowed Rabban Mad Chen to give himself first place from Dark Al Alert Pizza Hut. These three start to pull away from Nina de Magura, Knight Jedi, and Sherman Ryder. We also lost Forceful Perform. I missed that one, but it's Rabban Mad Chen. 
Chen inside the final quarter mile now. Ravaman Chen from Dark Alert Pizza Hut running on Nina de Muguro, Knight Jedder and Sherman Riley right, can ride off the chain. But Ravaman Chen fell on half left to run coming down to the last. A bit slow but gets over it well. Mistakes at the rear but Ravaman Chen and Dark Alert. These two are well away. You've got a fell on left to run into the dip. Ravaman Chen from Dark Alert. Knight Jedi has got a lot to do from there but Ravaman Chen... Pedro Hogan is going to pick up his second winner of the day with Rabban Manchin. Takes Mick with Tent Novice Handicap Chase comfortably from Dark Alert. Night Jedi and Nina de Maguro falls out third and fourth. It's a convincing win in the end. It's by four probably. Maybe three from the top weight Dark Alert. Night Jedi just hailed off. The third, so Rabban Manchev for Pedro Hogan takes it. Dark alert for Craig Beckwith was second. Night Jedi for Stu Gray was third. Nino Muguro for Pedro Hogan was also fourth. And Sherman Ryder for Stu Gray was fifth.